Cheng Sung Feng is a talented artist from Taiwan who explores wisdom condensed out of time hidden in traditional utensils. Feng is known for his utilizing tradition and culture and for applying handcrafted methods from traditional artifacts into large scale installation arts and sculptures at different scale and functions. And with the many of his renowned works for big brands such as Apple, Nike, Aesop, Hermes, and many others, we're happy to have Cheng Sung Feng himself today, and we will be conversing about the wisdom beyond craftsmanship. So thank you so much for being here. Hi, everyone. Will you first tell us about your background and about the studio? Hello, everyone. I'm Chen Zhong Fan. I'm a, an artist from Taiwan who runs my own art studio. And my studio focuses on creating installation art, sculpture, and I also collaborating with various clients such as Hermes, Loive, and the Ritz Carlton. Mm, that's amazing. I uh, admired your work from a long time ago and we would like to know Thank you. Um, <laughs> how would you describe your design approach and what inspired it? Uh, my work approach is rooted in traditional crafts. I'm so fascinated by the wisdom and knowledge that is hidden in handmade craft items. I have uh, spent years to I have spent years traveling to different rural areas and towns to learn how to make traditional crafts from uh, craftsmen, such as uh, I, I went to learning how to make in bamboo baskets, steamer, pepper, mm -hmm. and wooden chairs, and so many different kinds of items. Mm -hmm. And through, through this process, I have discovered many excellent stories about how we use and transform the natural materials and how we handle special tools and how we use them. Wow, that's great, learning firsthand. So what is craftsmanship to you? Uh, I think craft, craftsmanship to me is a uh, treasure and legacy. I try to tell these old stories through my own voice, my hands and my profession and my artworks. Mm. So with that, how have you balanced um, traditional craftsmanship uh, with innovation and technology to make it adaptable to you know such changing and dynamic society? Uh, actually, I, I didn't think too much. I just trying to uh, balance traditional crafts with innovation and technology by researching and learning traditional craftsmanship by hand. Uh, before I begin uh, creating something, I see traditional craftsmanship as a package of process and knowledge. Uh, I like to recall the entire process through the photos and then organize them into a table sheet. I, I usually label them by three different colors, like a uh, green for foam and pink for material and the yellow for method. Uh, by this way, this allows me to see the entire process clearly and I can link and shift and change and also innovate possibilities based on the original. How do you promote the cultivation of culture and tradition in your studio and your works? Uh, in my studio and works, I promote the cultivation of culture and tradition by ensuring that all of our works are based on traditional making processes. Mm -hmm. two, of my two of my significant works like a fish trap house and nesting plant can, can am amplify this. Mm, will you share the process or about them? Uh, like a fish trap house is begin in 2019. It, it was inspired by the traditional fishing traps of the indigenous South tribe at Salmon Lake. It's a very famous place in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. I have uh, created seven pieces of this series with the latest one in Long House Reserve. It's a sculpture garden in Eastern Hampton of New York. And uh, the next one would be in the Coronade Theatre, it's a dance theatre in London. 
And the uh, next team plan, which began in 2019, it, uh, it, implore, it explores the craftsmanship of animal nesting, specifically the gray cheek, blue gray cheek bovetta. It's, it's some kind of bird from Salmon Lake. I have already created five pieces of this series. It's all uh, based on different kind of bird in different area. Um, are they all connected, the different series? Uh, they, they all uh, it, It's based on nesting, nesting, nesting plan. It's, it's not, uh, I went to a different place to, to find their special bird and learning how learn and learn from those kind of birds how they nesting. And I I make a different workflow in, in different area. Mm, that's amazing. Mm. Um will you uh, tell us one piece of wisdom that you carry throughout your practice and how it has created um sorry, how has it created a positive impact in your life as an artist or on others as well? Mm, I think I'm quite lucky. So I have uh, many experience to work with some famous brands. I carry throughout my practice is that when working with them, I always create a work based on tradition and use their resources, ability and platform to deliver my work and tell all stories within it to a wild, wilder audience. This is a chance to let people know and appreciate traditional craftsmanship and handmade items. Will you share with us, lastly, an example of how a work of craftsmanship has successfully elevated the state of mind, you know, maybe through the senses or the way it's set up? Okay, uh, I believe that all of my works elevate the state of mind through the senses. Uh, my works are all based on traditional items, but not for their original function. Uh, for example, I don't make a chair for sitting, or I don't make a fishing trap for catching fish, or a basket for containing things. I make them to tell I, I make them to tell stories, to share what fascinates me, and to preserve something that is treasured but often forgotten. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting approach and one that you know can add uniqueness to a design, right, or to a creation. It's to make mm. something that tells stories, and it's how also we can make sure that it'll last a long time. And you put it really nicely that it's a legacy more than anything, right? We want to pass it on. Um, so it's nice when something becomes educational as well as Especially also you said earlier that you like to document the process, uh, record them. So it will be a, mm. a continuous cycle of telling traditions to younger generations. So um, yeah, thanks a lot for today. I'm truly inspired by your work and keep doing great things. Thank you very much.